Hey everyone, today's video is a video that's been really, really requested since day one for me here on YouTube, and it's how I paint my nails. So, I am a professional, I have my cosmetology license, I know how to paint nails, although this is just my technique. This is how I paint my nails so they look perfect. Um, I'm sure there's lots of other techniques, but this is just how I do it. And again, this has been my number one most requested video because a lot of people struggle with painting their nails. And I've actually seen even girls who do just nail videos here on YouTube and they get the polish all over their cuticles and skin. And I don't understand that, but I'm like a very, um, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to painting my nails. So I'm just going to show you in this video how I do it and what better color to use than black? So you don't have to be scared to use dark colors. I'm using black. This is um, Black Onyx by OP. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you learned anything from it or if you try out like how I paint my nails and um, a, a couple of the tips that I show you. And let me know in the comments below if this helped you at all because I, pretty much what I do is short, small strokes, which you'll see in the video. And you know, just stay away from the sides and the cuticles and the top coat that I, a lot of people ask me what kind of top coat I always recommend and what kind of base coat I recommend. <clears throat> and I recommend such feet for both um, the crystal clear base coat and the dry fast top coat although I never use base coats because I don't know I just don't um, but that's just me let me know if you learn anything and I'll talk to you soon okay you just want to get the brush as close to the cuticle as possible without touching it And I just do tiny little baby strokes. That's really all you have to do. You don't want to do, you know, huge strokes because you're going to end up getting it on your skin. And just right up to the edge, but leaving visible now. And slowly turn your finger. Just get it right up to the edge a nice amount of polish you don't want it to be too dry you also don't want it to be too wet so it runs down your finger but just kind of like outline your nail first that's what I do get it where you want it kind of do the same on the other side just tiny little strokes and then if there's too much polish which there is so I spend most of the time near the cuticle making sure it's the perfect amount. And my hand feels like it's shaky. I had a huge Starbucks latte and I didn't eat and of course I'm doing my tutorial. Okay, so that's really all I do. Just small little strokes. Get towards the cuticle. And with your first coat, it's okay if you're a little bit slower. I'm always a little bit slower with my first coat because that's kind of like the base. And then with your second coat, it definitely moves a lot faster. And also, of course, with a darker color, you want it to absolutely look perfect because um, yeah, it's stuck. You can see I got that little speck right there. I always just take my nail and run it over. And also the second coat really makes it look perfect. So just, oops, I don't have enough polish here. So just turn your finger. And you always want to make sure that um, both hands are resting nicely on the table. It gives you better control. And if the shape towards your cuticle is not how you want it, like right here, I don't like that little point. So I will just, I'm not going to be in frame, but just kind of make it however you want it with your other nail. Yeah. And then for my thumb, I usually do my thumb first. I kind of forgot since I was doing the tutorial. Same thing. Just small little strokes. Making sure you're not touching your skin, leaving visible nail. And 
I got some down here where I don't want it. So I just take my nail. And I'll clean that up later. <clears throat> okay, for the second coat, like I said before, goes a little faster. In drying time, I don't wait for it to dry. Um, I, I usually just paint my right hand, then come back to this hand. I don't like have a, a dry period, but I'm just going to do this hand for the tutorial's sake. So you can see how much quicker the second coat is because you don't really have to um, concentrate so much on the edges. Although I just went a little too on my cuticle right there. You can see I just got it on my cuticle right there, and I don't like that. So I just take my other nail and pick it up. And this takes practice. I mean, I probably wasn't this good when I first started, but I mean, I paint my nails like two to three times a week. So, yeah, so that is what two finished coats of the black look like. Looks pretty darn good to me. Yeah, so that is how I paint my nails um, and have them be perfectly painted with no polish on the cuticles and they look really, really good. So when you do your top coat, you want to do the top coat all over the nail, um, including the sides where there's the visible nail because it's going to make the visible nail shiny so it just looks even more professional. So remember that even though there's a visible nail line, as you can see when I turn my nails to the side, that looks so much better than having uh, polish on your skin. Um, so always, always, always try and have visible nail, you know, all around the edges. And then when you put your top coat on, put the top coat to the edges, but also don't get the top coat on the skin because then the polish will chip easily, more easily. So that is how I paint my nails. I hope you guys learned something from my nail polish application. That is how I apply my polish. Let me know if you guys learned anything. It does take practice, so if you do struggle with it, know that you are just going to get better and better the more you paint your nails. So... Yeah, um, that was how I paint my nails. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know if you learned anything, if um, it helps you. I hope it did. Talk to everyone soon. Bye, girls.